What's up divas and divos? It's your girl April. So today's video is basically going to be like some type of PR haul or whatever you want to call it. Something fun. I decided to put these videos together because I just thought it would be so much more easier. I know you guys have heard me talk about Octoly.com. Like, in several videos, this website is where you can get a bunch of free stuff. They have all type of free stuff. A lot of different things that you can basically use. So, somebody walked in on me. So, just bear with me for a second. What? Okay, well, I'm doing a video. Well, do you want to say hello? Because... No. No? No. Okay, well, can I take... Can you give me that back? So, anyway... That was my grandson, who's two, and I guess he has a choice of whether he wants to say hello or not. Anyway, so check it out. The link is below if you do YouTube videos or if you're, like, social media, you know, savvy or whatever. Check the link below. You get a bunch of great free stuff. They have all type of makeup brands on there from ColourPop. Um, I can't even think of, a, like, a bunch of them off of the top of my head. I got a bunch of stuff from there over the past couple of weeks, and... Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do a makeup tutorial with it because some of the colors were a little bit too light or also that I had already just finished doing a makeup tutorial. So anyway, I'm just going to start with some of the stuff that I did get. Okay. The Palladio Matte Bronzer. Now, I did feature this in my Real Talk video recently um, because I was doing my makeup, but this is a matte bronzer, and it's called Nude Beach. I'm really picky. I like more warm tones than cool because it just goes better with my skin tone. This works really well for a contour. It's not too strong. If I'm just doing, like, simple tasks throughout the day, and I really don't want to be too made up, then I like bronzers or contours colors that are more lighter i do actually like this it did work well for me um it's not too dark of a brown it's kind of something that i would choose and um yeah it's called palladio and it's a matte bronzer and like i said this is um color nude beach and actually has botanicals and vitamins infused in it so if that helps your skin and that's what you like girls then by all means go ahead and this is a brand called sahai i think that's how you say it cosmetics so, you guys know I love colors like this. It's just like this really pretty color. You see it on my lips. And this is called Alia. I think that's how you say that too. Alia or A-L-I-A. -A. You, you be the... You decide what you want to call it. But you know what this reminds me a lot of? I'm going to tell you what this actual liquid lipstick reminds me so much of. First of all, the packaging reminds me very much so of ColourPop. Now, the color reminds me of ColourPop and the consistency. You know, um, I have quite a few ColourPop liquid lipsticks, and I'm going to be honest and tell you guys, I'm really not a big fan of ColourPop because it starts to separate after only like a couple of months, and it smells so bad. Like, literally, it has a bad stench to it. And also, I wasn't really too fond of ColourPop's packaging because... Their name just kind of wears off. But I'm not saying that this is by the same creators. I'm not really sure. But in general, if you guys know about Colourpops, have purchased it, or just know about them in general, what do you think? But for the most part, it works well. It doesn't get crusty or dried up in the corners of my mouth like Colourpop does or like a lot of liquid lipstick does. I'm not sure if it's because it's brand new. But... This one does last, um, it does stay on my lips pretty well, and it doesn't dry them out. Um, have you ever tried a liquid lipstick, and it's matte, and you have, like, this white encrusted crustacean on the inner corners of your lip, and it's just so dry? I hate stuff like that. Winky Lux. They seem to have, like, some really good stuff, um, on Octoly. I've never really checked their actual website, but they have some really ni ma nice matte liquid lipsticks. I have not tried them. Just from the pictures alone, they look really nice. So this is their Diamond Powders, or a girl's best friend in medium. Now, honestly, they have some highlight, and I honestly thought that this was like a highlight, so I was like, oh, let me get this color in medium. Now, first of all, let me tell y'all something. I don't even like buying foundation off the computer or online because the monitor colors be way off. I thought this was actual highlight because it kind of was described as such. The packaging is sleek and nice. It's just white. The color, when I, I, I was like, oh, this is not a, um, a highlight. It's a pressed powder. So you guys know my skin is not that light. But it's great for me to use under my face for my highlights. So that's actually what I use it as a setting powder right here. 
Other than that, I can't use it for much of anything, but it works pretty decent. It was the Idune Minerals. Now, let me tell y'all something. I did use their eyeshadow. Their, um, eyesh it wasn't a palette. It was a quad. They had four different shadows in it. And it really, their colors are really pretty. Their packaging is really pretty, too. And the color of this is Sevia mineral foundation warm medium so when i looked at it online you know and i picked out the color i was like okay this is gonna work perfect you know this would be like an exact match etc etc it's a little bit too light for my skin i also in return use this as a setting powder as well this is the reason why i don't like to buy foundation or facial powders online and if you guys are in agreement with me then let me know how you feel the measurable differences this is their highlight and um, highlighting palette it's super cheap the retail value for this is I think either 12 or 15 dollars you get 10 shades for highlight and a little contour you know what I'm saying this one is called the Sun Kissed bombshell palette got a bunch of nice size um, colors here now I did use this one and I use this one this one is like a, just a highlight and I use this and this they do show up really nice I do like them so they're highly pigmented but you know what my opinion is on like highlighters not anything to do with this but I just think like highlighters to me are just like big eyeshadows okay and I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that feels that way because these look like eyeshadows to me like seriously um a couple of them were a little bit ch chalky and powdery like this one down here is a little powdery and chalky um, there are a couple that are a little bit chalky for my liking but to me I think like these are just like big eyeshadows and it's inexpensive for those of you uh, who love to try new makeup it's really inexpensive and some of the colors are a little bit chalky probably like three out of ten this is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I know that sounds so cool. Bum Bum. Ooh, I've got my Brazilian Bum Bum. It's not even a Brazilian accent. That's like an English accent. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I like the packaging. Not the box, but the actual packaging. I saved the box so you guys can see. This hair is driving me crazy. This is super cute. Do you see that? super cute I don't know why it's just super cute like this but it's a thick body cream it's more or less for your bottom this is actually distributed in New York but um, <laughs> this actually is supposed to help with cellulite and things like that over time you're not about to see no change within a week so I can't tell you if it's really gonna work but I will tell you this I do like the moisturizing of it and it also smells good it's a nice thick cream I don't even think I would just use this on my bum I got cellulite all over so I'm pretty sure this will work for that areas or other areas besides my butt so that's it for everything from Oxley I was reached out to by chic I think it's called new chic or chic I'll post a direct link down below um, and they sell all kind of things like makeup hair not like like wigs like really really cheap wigs clothes it's more or less one of those websites there it's based in China okay and I'm gonna tell you I had four different shipments for one two three four items okay now first of all two one of these items or two of these items well one of these items I can't even show you anymore because I don't have it um it was a sh it was a hoodie and it had lace sleeves okay and it really wasn't as pictured and I really don't like things when you get them in the mail it does not look anything like on the website which is like this shirt right here now honestly I did think that this was just like a regular material fabric type of shirt now don't get me wrong it's really cute it's very plunging where the lace lacing is at so you would have to wear I mean if you bow like that and you want it all to be out then by all means girl go right on ahead Okay. I would have to wear like a camisole underneath it because I don't really want you to see everything on me. I really thought this was like a lightweight jersey type of material. Honey, please. It's 90 degrees out here in Arizona right now. Ain't no way that I'm about to be wearing this because it's sweater material. The quality of it is made really well and the size that I have is a 4X. Now y'all know I don't wear 4X but with these type of sites you really do need to measure yourself prior to ordering anything. If you don't and you actually pick up your actual 
American size, honey, it's gonna be too small. Don't guesstimate and be like, well, I'm gonna go up two sizes because it don't work like that. This is cute, but I will save this for next winter, okay? They also sent me this, and I didn't ask for this. I asked her for something else, and I was sent this instead, which is this black mask, deep cleansing, purifying, peel-off mask. I don't really be into the peeling mask um, because, let me tell you something. By the time I take my makeup off and stuff like that, I'll be ready to just go to sleep. Like, I'll take a shower. I'll be ready to go to sleep. I don't want to sit here for five hours and do my a mask. I mean, I have loads of different fiber masks and stuff, but I don't even use them because I just be tired. I just want to go to sleep. It is black. It is black. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about this, but yeah. I am loving this item. Is this right here, which is the Trifold Travel Mirror, Lighted Mirror. I got a bigger one like this the other day from the other company. And then when I seen this, I was like, oh my God, this is so freaking cute. So this is a little travel mirror. It comes with the batteries already in it. It has a little kickstand right here so you can place it on your desk and stuff. And it opens up like this, okay. And look, it has the button switch right here. And you guys probably can't see it because it's so much light in here. But I'm going to try. Hopefully you guys can see it. Oh, you guys can't see it because it's so much light. Well, it has lights. I know you see the dots. It actually has lights right here and right here. So that way when you don't have good lighting, you can use this lighting. Like it's super cute. And the lights... The lights are actually, these little dots are not really dots, they're tiny little hearts. They're so cute. And it's just so cute. So now you guys can see how messy my desk is. It's just so cute. You can keep it in your purse with you, which is so darling. But yeah, so I did get that, and this was a really cute find. So I will post their information for you guys below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in a soon-to-come video. Stay diva and devolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I love you guys. Know this, she already know this. She want a bad man to come a video. This. I'm feeling all this. She already know this. She want a bad man to come a video. This. You want murder me? Hey, hey, hey.